What's up, everybody? I'm Gabby Monster. I have this Black Ops 3 gameplay I'd like to share with you guys. But before I get into all this mumble jumbo, I'd like to say thank you so much for Thunder for uploading my video onto your community channel. You know, guys, he's doing a really good thing for us. Basically, giving us really good exposure uh, to the COD community, um, just the YouTube community also. Because, you know, we all know that if we put in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 3 TDM, Kill confirm, search and destroy, or how to videos, tips and tricks. We're gonna see the major YouTubers, you know. And with this uh, community channel, he helps us out in that. You know, he gives us basically videos from other YouTubers that gives us that different point of view. Um, and that's what we need. We need um, different point of views from different YouTubers, not the same ones over and over again, because you know that does get kind of stale and old sometimes. But it is what it is. So yeah, thank you so much Thunder for doing this for us and for uploading my video to your channel. Now let's get into this gameplay. As you can see, this is hardcore. I'm playing Domination on the map Combine. Yes, Combine is overplayed in Black Ops 3, but hey, I got a good gameplay and I decided to share with you guys. So uh, by class setup, I'm using the battery with kinetic armor. Uh, gun as of course you can see is the HVK-30. Using the ELO sight quick draw, fast mags, and stock. Now the perks that I'm using is blind eye, fast hands, and awareness. I also have that black cell uh, just to shoot those UAV down, UAVs down. And basically, because we all know in hardcore, if you have a UAV up, you know, you have a big advantage over your enemy because in hardcore, there's no mini map. See right there, shoot that down, get some extra points. But real quick, the team that we're going against I was actually with them last game uh, I joined in really late that was probably like maybe about four minutes left in the, in the second round of domination and I was on the same map combine and basically they're going in on on the enemy uh, they had UAVs up you know they had um, I think one or two haters and it was just basically it was yeah it was pretty unfair but um, I stayed in the lobby and actually was going against them and I was like, oh great, so that's why I have the black cell to shoot those UAV down. If they, ha if they did get up a hater, you know, I basically shoot that down also, help out my team. But, unfortunately this time, I was able to um, get them off all their score streaks. Uh, they didn't have a hater up at all this uh, this gameplay. And basically all thanks to my Cerberus. I don't know. Now Cerberus is a OP'd score streak, in, in hardcore especially. <laughs> Watch, you guys will see. I'm gonna get into my service and basically just go in. But now let's get into the topic. What I want to talk about is innovation, and I'm focusing on the COD aspect of it. You know, I think they're lagging on innovation a little bit just on the past these um, COD, uh, COD games. Now it seems that you know after Ghost, they've been trying to uh, copy in a way other games like the EXO movements, like you know boost jumping into the air. And adding the futuristic guns like the laser ones and advanced warfare, and even gestures. We see here in Black Ops 3, we see the gestures going on now. Like you could do the dab, hotline, the whip. You know, <laughs> it's just we see all these um, new gestures coming in, and we have seen gestures in other games. Uh, we all know what game I'm talking about. Destiny. I'm gonna say it. It was Destiny. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, it seems that you know they're they're incorporating all these things from different games, uh, so basically they everyone will play their game because they're like, hey, well we have gestures too, you know, oh, we have exo movements or we can jump real high in the air also. But uh, real quick, this is what I like to do with my Cerberus, especially on um, combine or shorter maps. Uh, basically, there's three lanes as we all know: middle, left, and right. So for those of you who don't know, you know, if you just camp basically by B with your Cerberus on this map. You know they will basically come because if they have one flag they have to get B you know they're not gonna come all over here to C well kind of did right here but <laughs> they're not gonna come all over here to C uh, just hold those two flags as the spawn systems would be all messed up anyways I'm gonna get into that let's get back into the topic now I can see that they want to be the first person shooter and that everyone wants to play so they're probably, you know, incorporating all these things to get them to get themselves into that position. Now, I personally think it's kind of hurting them a little bit because I know plenty of gamers and some YouTubers that are slowly leaving COD because of what's becoming and because of the issues 
and we are experiencing like the lag the hit detection the lobbies you know they don't like skill based matchmaking there's like you know there's a big old list of it you know and it's kind of sad that people have to get these things um certain equipment just to make the game work better for them like the net duma or have to get a scuff so they won't be outgunned every time because we all know if you have a scuff you got a little slight advantage just a little bit but enough of that i uh, got my service again doing the same exact thing put it over at b get off that truck <laughs> and basically try to keep them back over here but my teammates need to help me out and get b we need to get b we need to get two flags at least but will they do it well you'll see i'm not gonna tell you guys the end uh the end score the final score i should say this guy's probably laugh, but anyway <laughs> but all right anyways going back to the subject you know another department that i think they're lagging in on animation is the maps um so far in this cod we are getting two remakes uh verge and before it was bonsai hijack you know they turn into skyjack you know it's just you know those are two potential maps that we could have had they are different you know different than what we have right now um basically we could have had two maps that we could have enjoyed two maps that could have potentially made up for the for the that bad dlc <laughs> we just experienced you know it just, they just they they could have focused their attention to the innovation instead of basically adding more weapons in the supply drops basically just getting more money off of this or not me but you know the kids that gotta have those things but yeah so i wouldn't be surprised if the next con in space will have space jack <laughs> or, or even uh weapons for advanced warfare you know but i could be wrong you know i could be wrong i'm just saying you know i'm just saying the way things are going that's what i see i just want cod to deliver something for us that's something fresh something that the innovation that they incorporate in the next cod is something we could talk about because so far you know it's been pretty silent you know we've been complaining more than in you know than actually saying oh you know this cod's great you know they feature this you know don't get me wrong like i said you know this is a fun game to play but the issues of it makes it not so great of a game you know it's it's a good but bad game <laughs> if that makes any sense but all right guys this is basically the end of the gameplay um hopefully you guys enjoy the commentary if you guys did enjoy the commentary make sure you head over to my channel and subscribe <laughs> but yeah we didn't even break 100 on this guy <laughs> on the scoreboard man but i went 81 and 11 went in with my uh, score streaks but yeah thank you so much to thunder again for uploading my video to your community channel i really appreciate it all right guys till next time gavin monsters out